Hello everyone. I'm continuing working with an example where the application is showing first and the second scores and we're looking at the page extracting those scores and comparing to make sure that the first one is lower than the second. Unfortunately the test first shows loading and then loads the actual scores. And in this example we are not replacing just the scores. If you look at the application, it overrides the entire paragraph, including the children elements. We're not just replacing the inner text of a score, we are replacing the entire element. So why isn't our code working? Well, the way we extract the first score, we're getting all the scores and it will be two of them, right? Notice two. We're getting the first one that gives us the reference to the first loading element right here. And then we invoking the text and confirming it's the number, so no longer loading. Unfortunately, notice it never matches a number regular expression, even though we clearly see that it gets 60. Well, why is that? So we grab the reference to the first loading span element. We're keeping it and we are waiting for it to replace the text. Unfortunately, this whole element is now replaced. It's no longer attached to a DOM. We just don't know that yet. We're just keeping checking its text, but unfortunately that particular element will never have its text updated. A new element will have a score. So we cannot use this. So what do we do instead? Well, just check and confirm when the application updates everything. We can say right here, instead of getting the score, getting the first element, let's say, our page contains a score with just numbers. That's it. That will be true when the page actually overrides the scores, loads them. And after that, we can get the score like before and it will match numbers. So what happened right here? It loaded, right? Shows loading. And when we keep checking the page, if there is a score that's a number, not loading text. And once it's done, boom, we can grab the elements where it no longer will change. And we don't even have to check anything because we know those will be the numbers after that. So make sure you're not checking the stale element reference. Instead, kind of separate and say the page has finished loading. Then you can grab the data. And by that point, it's a static page. This check could be dynamic looking at the text like right here, or you could check, you know, the loading class, something like that. 